wealth comes from above, down, inside, out. And now, Dr. Neil Heim. All right, guys. Today we're going to talk about one of the most frequently asked questions here in the office. Is it bad to crack my own neck or is it bad to crack my own spine? Um, and first and foremost, <laughs> the word crack. Let's just define that for just a second. Uh, in chiropractic, we call that noise that you hear as a crack or a pop that you can hear with an adjustment, a, a cavitation. That cavitation is the same thing you get for people who crack their own knuckles. Every joint in the body has fluid uh, in it. And when you put uh, that joint at a certain angle with a certain amount of pressure, some of that, uh, some gas can escape from that fluid and it causes what's called a cavitation or a crack. That's, that's what we refer, refer to as a crack. When it comes to your spine, a lot of people don't realize that in between any joint in your spine, meaning in between any two bones in your spine, there's not actually just one joint. There's many joints, typically about five to seven joints. And the issue with cavitating or cracking your own neck is you're not usually uh, cavitating the area that would be causing any kind of stiffness or any kind of discomfort. When we push our head or twist our neck over, the area that we hear cavitate or crack is uh, one of the several joints that was the loosest. And the more and more we do this and cause this to happen again and again, what happens over as time goes on is the side that's fixated, the side that actually could be released or could be causing tension on your nervous system or tension that's giving you some discomfort, gets more fixated or more stuck. Whereas the other side becomes more loose or hypermobile. If this happens for a long enough period of time, you're actually causing more damage to that area and creating more tension on your nervous system and more problems in your body. So it's really never a good idea to crack your own neck. In fact, a lot of chiropractors wish they, uh, that we knew how because you know, we can't even adjust ourselves or allow ourselves to, to uh, feel that uh, alleviation from a good adjustment. We have to have it done by somebody else to have it appropriately applied. Uh, specific adjustments are specific for a reason. We apply very specific forces to make sure that your body is improving as time goes on and not getting, uh, having more subtle damage. And so that's really the, the bottom line of whether it's good or bad to, to crack your own neck. You shouldn't do it yourself. Uh, always have a professional uh, view or having an issue, make sure they apply the, the appropriate type of adjustment.